going to make for you today a rich squash pie. It's one of my favorite things of fall. I love any kind of squash pretty much prepared in any way, but pie is a good thing. So what I have done is I had a butternut squash. These are the big ones, look like a bowl. And I cut it in half, took the seeds out, and I roasted it in an oven, and then I took the flesh out and discarded the skin. So I have one cup of the butternut squash goes right in. You could use any squash you want, I think. Anything. You could get one of those huge big blue Hubbard squash. Whatever. Whatever you like. I think this is a wonderful fall recipe. So that goes in. And to that I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream. In that goes. And I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. And then I have three eggs, slightly beaten, and they go. And then I have a quarter of a cup of brandy. That's going to give it a nice, rich flavor. And then my spices. I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, and I have half a teaspoon of ginger, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to break in some fresh nutmeg. I have a pie plate that I lined with a store-bought pie crust. You can make your own, that's fine, but I was taking the easy route today a little bit. All right, I've added my half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and now I just have to stir all the ingredients together. This is going to go into a very hot oven for 10 minutes. Have your oven set at, um, Let's see, have your oven set at 450 degrees for the first 10 minutes, and then you need to turn your oven down to 300 degrees, and then this will bake for another 50 minutes or until the middle is set. It really smells delicious. And I have my pie plate right here. I'm going to switch to a whisk to make sure everything is well blended. There's a lot of ingredients in here. All right, I'm gonna bring my pie plate forward and I'm going to pour in the mixture. I can see flecks of all those spices we put in. This is going to be Delicious. 450 degree oven for 10 minutes, then turn your oven down to 300 for the rest of the baking. Here is the rich squash pie right out of the oven, which is why I can't cut it right now, but it smells like fall, it's golden, it's beautiful. Oh, it smells wonderful. Once it cools, we'll be able to cut it. You could serve it with some whipped cream, you could serve it with some ice cream, or you can serve it on its own because it is a rich pie. I hope you try this recipe. Enjoy.